So this this uh, IDM has another division called British Graduate School. They have the uh, headquarters as well as uh, their operation in London. So through that, uh, they would like to, especially during this pandemic uh, season, or as, uh, the whole of whole world is uh, delivering the program online. So making use of it as well as uh, we have discussed at length to deliver this uh, to help Indian students. So the options and methods and the system will be explained by Dr. Larry. The purpose of my telling you is this is all interrelated. So the students interested in this, especially uh, those who miss the bus, they will be happy to have the program. They will certainly enjoy the program. And uh, I hand over this to Dr. Larry, please. Hi, uh, good evening, and uh, uh, thank you for the time that you are giving us. So, uh, as a, as an academic program, this is run a, in an academic way, but uh, it's very flexible. To tell you, uh, in Sri Lanka, we have been very successful with our student base because uh, we have seen them through uh, many difficulties, uh, even during the pandemic. And uh, they have also been uh, very uh, hardworking students, you could say. Uh, they have put their heads down at the time that it's needed. And I think even uh, so, it can be with uh, you all, uh, Mr. Joshua. So uh, we, we start up with, uh, in the MBA program, we start up with the PGD. And we have six subjects in the PGD. And... Uh, which leads up to the MBA top up, and uh, the MBA top up uh, we run through with the students how to do a research proposal that is a research the dissertation and then the reflective paper. Uh, there is a lot of flexibility in this learning program. Uh, we have, uh, I think, uh, uh, we could say uh, ninety nine point nine or even hundred percent of our students have passed through and uh, they have got their academic qualification uh, uh, through a recognized, world-recognized university. Uh, and uh, what I could really uh, push everyone who ever is interested in looking at uh, IDM, through IDM, to do this program is that uh, we are at you. And also we give you the best quality education because we uh, run through the system in a very methodical. Uh, uh, I, I heard you asking about the, the practical and the theoretical parts. Yes, we do run through the theoretical and the practical parts, but at the same time, we do run it in a, in a methodical way where every student gets an excellent opportunity to understand the research, uh, what they are going to do. And end of the day, once they have done their research, because we know there are umpteen number of uh, books that have come out or research papers that have come out or theses that have come out that uh, students can't even remember what their research was uh, once they have done with it. Uh, they, are, they don't know how a proposal was made or a dissertation was run through or even the reflective paper, how did they put it together? But here in IDM, we make sure that uh, it's ingrained or it is like deposited into their system and uh, we do it in a very systematic, methodical, uh, down to earth, uh, very reasonable way where the students get a, a, a memory bank of all what they have done. And uh, it goes on to show that uh, once they are uh, finished, we have seen uh, all our students practically being very successful in the business areas where, uh, uh, be it in whatever, uh, 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 area that they have been already working in, or when they have uh, reached out to look into new ventures. So uh, one, one uh, area that IDM always concentrates is that we give you quality, uh, excellent education, uh, academic education, together with a very practical knowledge. So we see them through uh, in different areas where without their knowledge, they fall in line with the academics. So uh, uh, we push them through also where they would reasonably understand how it's done. 
And if you take the PGD, uh, it is all assignment based. So it is uh, a, a very easy, practical, uh, understanding way that we push it to them where they can, even if whatever research material that they have to go through, uh, it's not that we spoon feed them, but uh, we run them according to uh, a system where they, uh, they are driven in a way, in a line where they can easily achieve. Uh, and the achievement is where they can get their proposal done in the achieved given time, because we have these time spans that we run for everything systematically. But uh, uh, because there is a lot of academic support that we give the students. And through that, uh, we show them uh, the, the veracities of research and uh, research in itself. Uh, 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 like I said, in the beginning, we will go through the PGD uh, for them to get into the research part of it. But in the, in the PGD, it's, it's a thought study. It's a thought, thought study program. So we'll run through it through the web binders and whatever ways that you, it's easy for you. And thereafter, when you get into the research part of it, uh, we give you the give you a hand in academics where you stand uh, in a very strong sense of values in your academics. So uh, true to the fact, like uh, like uh, uh, in any academical institution or in uh, any given university setup, there is a, a methodical way of things how things should be planked out and uh, we do the same but we do it in a in a system where it's uh, very flexible and it's a flexible learning system is there anything that uh, you want to know more than that mr joshua no you can continue uh, doctor can yeah. continue with the uh, yes i can continue sir pardon me Pardon me? You can continue. Uh, sir, you can continue, the... sir. All ah, right. Okay. Uh, now, in the, in the PGD program, we do we have six subjects. And uh, the six subjects uh, are uh, strategic management, strategic HRM, uh, 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 and uh, strategic financial management, strategic uh, leadership, uh, globalization and uh, corporate governance. Uh, advanced business research that will lead just into the research itself. So these are few uh, areas that we will touch on. And uh, the, the, each of these subjects, uh, it's all uh, assignment based. So it's each of these subjects, uh, we will give them, uh, some of them are like uh, 2,500 to 4,000 words. So we will give you a, a veracity of how to do it. And we will show you how you, uh, because in end of the day, any academic program has uh, its standing. So, uh, University of Gloucestershire uh, combined with IDM, um, because IDM always has uh, given a quality education system uh, throughout its history. Uh, so, uh, we give a quality education system, and the students are very happy when they, once they finish, some of them, they, when they come in, uh, they are lost in the whole program in the initial stage, maybe a week or two into it. Uh, they dive into it automatically. And uh, I have seen it uh, over and over again where students uh, don't understand in certain areas, they, they can't get it in the initial stage. But thereafter, uh, we have uh, excellent staff here in, uh, in IDM. And they are experienced, excellent staff where they, uh, they know exactly what they're doing. They know exactly how to conduct uh, a relationship with the students and what kind of uh, understanding the student would uh, really need to uh, get through in order for them to get through with their subject material. Uh, and we guide, like, you, like I said, we guide them through. Uh, our research proposals or, uh, uh, in our dissertation and our reflective paper, the combination of the whole thing uh, will take you approximately about six to seven months to totally finish. I think the whole program of this is coined up for about a year in the whole this thing. So while this is going on, while the PGD is going on, uh, we, uh, we ease you into the, into the uh, top-up program also uh, and so on. 
Is there anything else that you need to know? Uh, sir, regarding uh, uh, any internship opportunity or dissertation, could you elaborate on that, sir? Uh, uh, I didn't get you. Come again? Uh, regarding internship, uh, if there is any internship, uh, whether uh, there is any facilitation for internship or is internship? Internship. Uh, at the moment... Compulsory as a part of this program or any dissertation or project work involved in that, sir? Uh, no. Uh, see, uh, at Anyway, uh, we don't run any inter internship uh, uh, in any of the dissertation programs, not because of anything. One is at the moment, the, the, <laughs> the environment is not conducive for it uh, because of the COVID and so on. But uh, to tell you the fact that uh, during your dissertation, uh, we, will, we will give you, because I think uh, a majority of the students who come, they would be coming from a background of uh, already in a business environment. Is it uh, Mr. Joshua or are they? Uh, I think for most of them are working professionals, sir, if I'm not wrong. Working mm -hmm. professionals are just freshers who have completed their UG. All ah, right. So uh, uh, no matter if, even if you uh, just directly come in from, your, from, uh, uh, from a background of a bachelor's into it, um, or even if they are working professionals, uh, working professionals are most welcome because uh, uh, they are the ones that we are really looking at because we uh, very much in our bachelors, we have the combination of both, but uh, we target them not because of anything, because it's easy for them to understand the, uh, the business areas and uh, the business studies that they, are, they will have to uh, do their research on and so on with the, with the uh, other, other, other uh, students who have just finished their uh, education in a bachelor's and they want to get into the do their PGD and get into the master's program. So uh, I would encourage uh, all your students who they are willing to get into it. Um, we will be most uh, helpful uh, from our side. Our team is an excellent team. Um, we have some wonderful senior uh, lecturers and uh, they're excellent in what they do. And uh, we will help you through and we will uh, uh, ease them into the, into the whole program. Like I said, it's a very flexible uh, learning curve that we use in order for the students to get through. Yeah. Yes. Uh, mm -hmm. Sir, uh, can we roughly know the cost of the program, sir? And uh, uh, is there any insolvent which, which can be paid or what is the board of payment? Sir? Uh, uh, Mr. That, uh, Joshua, that, uh, yes. uh, we have with us uh, our Miss Sonia, Bob, yeah. she will yeah. be able to cover these areas yeah. because academics uh, normally won't interfere okay. in this. And yeah. the That's system uh, I, I, applies with that. Sonia, and she will answer you to the T. Uh, but uh, uh, if you have anything that you need to know on the academic side, please uh, fire those questions and uh, I'll be most happy, or, uh, happy to answer them. Uh, to the participants, you can either text me as usual or... Uh, if there's any question, you can directly give the raise hand and ask. Yeah, Dr. Larry is going to be with us for some more time until we finish. Probably you get ready with your question after the presentation, after uh, the Ms. Sonia's presentation, we could cover the question answer session. I think this is uh, okay with Dr. Larry. Am I right, sir? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Very much, very much. Yeah, yeah. Regarding to, uh, sessions, wherever, whenever, whilst it's going on with the others, you can uh, barge in and just uh, make a uh, plea on something that you want to know. There's no yeah. problem. Yeah, this is regarding the internship. The question was from uh, Mr. Janshwa. I think this is totally a different thing. It's not a taught program. In the sense, uh, uh, it's not a regular program. But students are welcome to take up the internship uh, with their own responsibility. As we said, if they are employed, they can they choose the uh, employee, the company, uh, and they exactly. work out the research on that. Or exactly. if they want to go to go elsewhere to earn, if they are in business, they want to go elsewhere to earn more knowledge, they can do that. But unfortunately, uh, the, the institution uh, will not be in a position to help them. Yeah, okay. but we encourage the students to uh, really do their research from the background of their own uh, institution, wherever they are working, whatever uh, organization they are from, uh, they can use that organization as a stepping stone to their research, where they can do a research on behalf of that organization. And we will help you through uh, how to do it. We'll give you the, the tools and the skill how to do it. 
Thank you, Dr. Probably if, if you share, Mrs. I'm sorry, Ms. Babu could explain about the admission procedures and other related matters. All right. Firstly, good evening, everyone. I hope I'm clear. Can everyone hear me? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma All right. So to go on with regards to the admission procedures for this particular program, um, see, at different levels, students can be recruited depending on their experience and their qualification. This can actually differ from student to student. So if we could have freshers right after a degree program, we could have managers that have between five to 10 years of experience. So there is no standard requirement um, because as I said, it can depend from student to student uh, depending on their educational background as well as their work experience. All right. Am I clear on that? Can I move on? Yes, ma'am. Yes. All right. Um, the, I heard another question being raised about the cost of the program, right? So I think both uh, Dominic and Dr. Larry explained that uh, we use a postgraduate diploma firstly, and then move on to an MBA top up. The postgraduate diploma taking students six months to complete, requirement being six modules, which were elaborated by Dr. Larry, all based on assignments and presentations only, and thereafter, you proceed to the MBA top-up uh, where the dissertation is required from the student. Now, the, the entire world is going through a pandemic uh, with the COVID-19 situation. So a question may arise as to class attendance. How are we going to, uh, do we have to attend classes? Um, how are we going to actually study? For the November intake, what happens is everything can be delivered online, whether it be the PhD or the MBA top up, right? The total cost of the program, including the PhD and the MBA top up is 5,000 pounds. Due to the pandemic, there is a 250 reduction being 4,750. And there's an early bird discount for the November intake, bringing it down to 4,500. This can be broken into installments. On registration, students have to pay 1,500 uh, pounds. After three months, a further 1,500. And on the sixth month of registration, the balance 1,250. So what does this 4,250 totally include? It's a total online delivery of the program from the PGD to the MBA top up. Um, we do have the option where students can come to Sri Lanka and cover up the MBA top up. However, due to the current travel restrictions, airports are closed in both India and Sri Lanka. In Sri Lanka for sure, in India, I think it's still closed. So due to that, we are able to deliver this online and that would be the total cost. But if students want to proceed to go to UK to complete the MBA top up, then the PGD would be 3,000 pounds and the MBA top up would be 5,100 pounds. Is there any questions for me, Joshua? Is there anything else you would like me to elaborate? No, I think you have given a clear picture as to uh, how it can be uh, split it up. I, I think it would help the students very much so that they don't have to pay at one go. No, there is no uh, one. So They're not that, at that, one that go, Joshua. Yeah, it's not at one go. Yeah, I think uh, that's, so that's the a benefit. Yes, please go ahead. Please go ahead. Uh, so it's not at one go. I'll go through it once more. Uh, for the November intake, the total cost due to the COVID pandemic uh, is only 4,250. All lecture delivery online. You're looking at a down payment of 1,500 pounds. This is on registration. Uh, three months from the registration date, a further 1,500. And on the sixth month from registration, 1,250. Uh, so, when is the, can you just brief us as to when is the next uh, uh, intakes, next few intakes? Uh, the next few intakes, so we are starting one in November, and then thereafter we're starting another one in January. So, it, it continues that way. So, every two to three months, we do have an intake. Uh, 
so to all the participants if there is any questions uh, you can uh, either text me or you can uh, you can use a chat and ask me text me the question privately or you can give the raise hand and ask the question directly to uh, if there is any questions feel free to ask sonia can you explain to them the admission procedure how to file the application and the supportive documents sure Yes, Dr. Paul. So on admission, there will be um, an application form given by British Graduate School. On top of that, we do need some uh, documents, which is a copy of your passport. We need a couple of photos of yourself, um, all photocopies of your certificates and transcripts with regards to education. So whether it be, uh, I think you'll have a standard grade 10 and a standard grade 12. Am I correct? Yes, 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 yes. 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 So we need copies of that. If you hold your bachelor's degree, we do need uh, copies of the certificate and transcript there again. An updated CV uh, with uh, including all your work experience, even if you don't have a work experience, uh, dating back to all your school activities and your undergrad and uh, education wise, all that needs to be listed. So an updated CV is definitely a requirement. And service letters to back your work experience is another requirement. So it's a fairly straightforward process. Um, soft copies and hard, uh, hard copies can be handed over to the office and soft copies can be emailed. I, as I said, due to the current uh, pandemic, I think uh, most of the procedures have uh, shifted online. So right now, let's go with soft copies and uh, uh, all your educational documents as well as all your service letters, um, a copy of your grade uh, your standard 10 and your standard 12, um, as well as your degree certificate and transcript and any other education. I think uh, some of you may have uh, other postgraduate qualifications, other different MSc programs. Um, so copies of that is also relevant. What about statement of purpose? Do you need such things? Because yes, normally and this... hmm. Correct. A statement of purpose as to why the student uh, wants to take up this MBA program. Uh, probably a half a page to one page uh, explanation on that and an academic reference. So if one of your lecturers uh, willing to, uh, recommending you for the MBA program is also a requirement. Ms. Joshua, we can take up questions now. Probably uh, uh, Sonia, myself and Dr. Larry would cover that if there is any questions. Yeah, if there's any the... questions, uh, feel free to uh, uh, type in the chat box. You can type privately or you can uh, uh, just give the raise hand and if you, you can ask. Uh, if there is no questions, we can wind up as well. Uh, yeah. So looking forward to questions from the participants. Sonia, can you give, explain to them the link, how to file the application? Uh, right now, Dr. Paul, everything is going via email. So yeah, from yeah. British Graduate School, I believe uh, there will be a uh, corresponding person. Um, okay, okay. Yeah, and uh, so right now everything can be emailed uh, to the corresponding person at British Graduate School and we can take it from there. Okay, thank you. No problem.